In this video, we are going to build a complete website by just using the full site editor. So we will be building our custom header, footer, home page template and the inner page templates. And for all that, we are not going to use any third party page builder. We are just going to use Gutenberg page builder and the full site editing. So if that sounds interesting, then let's dive in. So this is the website that we are going to build in this video. So here we have our logo on the right hand side. We have the navigation menu. We have a button. And after that, we have a big giant hero section with some text and a form. After that, we have this simple introduction section and we have this call to action bar as well. Below this, we have some services or procedures. We have testimonial section as well. And after that, we have a contact section and Google map and we have a footer as well. And all that will be done by just using the full site editor. Now, if in case you are not a designer and you are wondering that how you can start building your website or even start designing the website for your business, then you can always visit the template site. So here is one. It's ultimate add ons for Gutenberg. They also have some starter templates. So we have just selected one of the templates from their website. That is this one. And we will try to recreate all this by just using the full site editor. So let's dive in in our WordPress backend and start building our website. So here we are in our WordPress backend and and we already have the version 5.9 installed. So the first thing we need to do is to install a theme. So we will go to appearance and then click on themes. So right now we have the 2020 WordPress theme, which is not based on full site editing. So if we click on add new here, we have the 2022 theme, which is based on full site editing, but we are not going to use this theme. And the reason is the navigation part of full site editing. Now, while building this full site editing website, the navigation is the worst part and that we have already covered in our previous video where we try to build our custom header and footer. So if you want to avoid this mess of creating navigation menus in full site editing, better avoid this 2022 theme. Instead of that, you can filter the search and here you can choose full site editing as a filter then apply search and here you will find all the websites that you can choose from. So you can try all these themes. Just look for a theme which gives you an option for menu right in the WordPress backend like any other old theme. So like in our case, we build our sample website using Gutena WordPress theme. And here you can see that we have themes editor like in full site editing and we also have menus. And I'm sure the reason they included this menu link here because they know that how difficult it is to create a navigation in full site editing. So make sure you use a theme which allows you to create menu from the WordPress backend. So here is the Gutena theme. Let's go ahead and install it and then click on activate. Once that is done, we can now get rid of this old theme. And after installing our theme, let's go in our pages section and start building our pages that we are going to use for this WordPress website. So we have the sample page here. Let's rename this to home and let's add a few more pages that we can use for our website. So here we have created some sample pages and we are going to use these pages in our navigation. So let's go ahead and build one. So we go to appearance and like old days, now click on menus. So let's give it a name, maybe top menu. Let's assign the location as main menu. Let's click on create. And now we can add all these pages here. So, so now let's rearrange the element as we want them and then click on save menu again. So now our menu is ready. So now let's go ahead and take a look at how our website looks in the front end. So this is the home page right now. We don't have any logo right now. It's directly showing our navigation here. So this is coming from the ready-made template from the theme. So first we will build our header. Then we will create our footer. 
and then we will create a template for our home page and then we will create a separate template for our inner pages so let's start with our header first so we go to appearance then click on editor so this is the full site editing area so we are not going to use this we will click on this wordpress icon here then click on template parts so here are the various template parts that are using in this theme so we will build our custom header first so we will click on add new and let's call it c header and then select header template type and then click on create so now we have our blank area where we can use the full site editor and all the gutenberg blocks to build this custom header but i forgot one thing after creating our navigation menu we need to add one plugin so we go to plugin section and then click on add new and let's search for cadence and this is the gutenberg blocks plugin from cadence theme so let's go ahead and install it so you can install this plugin or you can also use the ultimate add-ons from astra and this cadence blocks or ultimate add-ons for gutenberg both of these plugins come with a huge library of gutenberg blocks that we can use to build our wordpress website this will be a great help for design the structure of our website so here we are in the c header or the header editor of this site we have the blank area right now and we can start adding any gutenberg blog and start building our custom header so we will start by adding a row layout which is from the cadence blocks let's click here and we are going to use a three column layout so let's select this one so on the left hand side we will add our logo so for this block we will click here and search for site logo so this is the site logo block this is the part of the native gutenberg blocks so let's select this one and here we have an option to upload an image let's click here and then upload our logo so this is the logo that we are going to use let's select this one and if we open this range icon here we will be able to see all the settings related to this logo image so we can change the image size so maybe we can choose 220 pixel or maybe just 200 for the size of this logo and here in the second column we will add navigation so this is the navigation block again part of the native wordpress gutenberg blocks let's align this so by this option we can align this to right hand side or anywhere we want and behind this we cannot see right now for some reason we have an option to select a navigation menu so we click here so here we can select any navigation menu or create a new one as you can see under the classic menu section we have our top menu already available here it will be added here in the second column after that in the third one we will add our button so let's search for button and we are going to use advanced button from cadence blocks let's click this one and call it so we'll call it book an appointment let's click save and save again and now if if we open the list view here let's select this row for the alignment vertically we will choose middle so that everything will be in one line now while we are inside this full site editor we can choose the color scheme here so that we can have a color palette that we can use for all the elements of our website so here in the color section so if we click on this icon style this will open up this color option here and here is our color palette let's click here and now we can edit this current color palette or we can create our custom one so right now we will just go ahead and edit this one so for the background we will leave it white for the primary we will select dark gray so maybe maybe this one and rest of the things are perfectly fine instead of orange we will edit this and choose blue color from our template so this is the blue color that we need to use so this is the blue color that we will use for our buttons and links so let's save this here 
and if we click on this button here on the right hand side we see all the settings from cadence blocks so first we can define any url here so maybe we can choose our home page and here for the text color we will choose from our color palette let's say white and for the background color let's say we select this one and for the border width let's make it zero for the border radius let's add 10 pixel all right let's save this here so now our header is done so we can come back here to edit this again if it is required so now let's come back to this wordpress icon let's click on template parts again so here we see our c header which is showing under my name instead of the theme so let's go ahead and add new and let's call it c footer and this time we will select a footer type template let's create it and again we are back in this blank area where we can create our custom footer so now we will start by adding a group and here on the right hand side we have content as well as wide so here we can define what will be the width of this entire group structure and what will be the width of the content inside it so first we will change this to percentage we will make it 100% wide but for the content we will keep it to 80% once that is done let's add some background color as well so we open this color section let's enter our color code now let's add a row layout inside this we will choose this five equal column layout and for the first one let's add an image and let's add this image here if we come back again for this row layout and for the second one let's add advanced text let's type in call us and instead of h2 maybe we can use h4 and size maybe we can keep it 30 pixel let's copy this from here and add the same in all the columns so first we will select a paragraph and then paste our heading same for the next one and same for the last one now the reason we selected first paragraph and then pasted our heading is because you directly cannot paste anything in the column so you first have to choose any block like paragraph from the native gutenberg block and as soon as you paste your new block that paragraph will be replaced by the one that you have pasted if you see this list view here you won't find any paragraph uh, block added here it is always replaced by this advanced text so after this for this advanced text let's duplicate this here only and instead of h4 this time we will choose paragraph and the reason we are using this cadence blocks advanced text and changing this to paragraph and not using native Gutenberg block paragraph is that with the cadence blocks advanced text we get lot of settings option here or the styling options so we will miss all that if we use the native Gutenberg block so now let's reduce the size of this content here and let's paste our contact details for the second one let's call it reach us and let's copy this text from here hit enter after this paste our content and update this here for the third one let's call it open ours and for the last one we will call it follow us let's copy this text again from here paste it here and in the last one as well so here is our opening hours and instead of this text i think we need to remove this because after this text we will be adding social media icons so let's type in icon so we are going to use icon block from cadence blocks let's select this and let's align them to left for the first one we will choose facebook let's select this icon here for the size we will choose 25 pixel 
for the normal icon color we will choose this icon here and for the margin we will select individual values and for the right hand side we will add 5 pixel and 5 pixel from the left and now we can increase the icons from here let's add two more so now we have three icons here let's go to icon 2 settings and let's change the icon to Instagram and below that we can give a link to our profile from here so I'm leaving it as it is for now let's come down to icon 3 so here we will choose maybe Twitter so these are the three social media icons let's save it all right so now if we come back in our row layout and let's close this list view so this is how our footer should look like and if we come back in our row layout here we will click on mobile so that we can define how it will look for mobile so again we will choose this collapsible section here so now our header and footer are done so let's come back here we go to template parts we have our C footer and C header and I think I forgot to see how the header will look in the mobile view so let's come back in our header select our complete row and select our mobile view and here instead of collapsible rows we will select this option here so the first two column will be in one line and this button will be in the third line but as of now for the full site editing mobile navigation is not very good so for this section which is holding our button we go in the visibility settings and we will hide this on mobile so that our mobile menu will not show with this button because this button will show with our mobile menu in full site editing so i hope this error will be fixed in future so if we do not remove this that's how it looks we have already covered that in our previous video so it's better we hide it from here and hopefully in the future release of full site editing this will be fixed so now our custom header and footer are done we can now start editing our home page so we go back in dashboard and we go to pages and this is our home page let's click on edit so let's get rid of all these content from here and let's update this page and if we go in the page option here right now under template we are using the default template so we are not going to use this one because it will not have our custom header and footer so we click on new let's call it custom home page and we will create a new template for our home page so now we are inside the full site editor for this home page template so if we open this list view here let's get rid of everything and we also don't need post title at least for the home page so we will remove this and let's clear this all and start by adding our header so we will select header from here and now we have an option to choose existing or create a new header for this home page but we have already created our custom header so we need to select that from here and this is our c header showing here let's select this and now our header is back after this we will add insert after and this time we will search for footer and we are going to choose our custom c footer so this is also done now and in between we will add our content so this time we will insert before and here we will start by group and here in the layout we go to percentage and we will keep 100% for everything under this so we will search for post content so now our content will be visible here so let's update this template and now we can click back and this will bring us back to the normal page editor and if we come back in our page settings here we can see custom home page template is selected so let's start building our home page so we will start by adding a row layout again we will choose a two column layout and let's start by adding a padding on the top maybe 
100 pixel just to start with and same for the bottom. And let's add a background image to this. So we select block and here is the background setting. Let's select an image. So this is our background image that we are going to use. Let's select this image size will be cover and we have the background overlay setting as well. So here we will select gradient and for this blue, we will select our light blue color and for the dark one, we will select a darker shade so we can play around with the settings here. So we will increase the opacity so that we can dull down the background image. All right. So now let's change the angle here. So we will keep it to 90 and change the location from here like this. So let's update this and on the left hand side, let's add advanced text. So we will paste this text here. We will we will choose paragraph and then we will make it bold. For the color, we will choose white. And after this, we will add another advanced heading or advanced text. Let's paste our content. We will bring and color will be white again. Or maybe we can select our color from the color palette font size let's increase a bit so let's update this here and see how it looks in the front end so now we have our custom header we have our custom footer on this page but for our hero section we see this gap here so let's remove this so we select this row layout and we will choose full width and then click on update so this is how it looks. If we come back here, we can reduce the width of the content. So we turn that into pixel and then make it 80%. If we update this again and refresh. So now we have a gap here. So this one looks much better. So I think we forgot to add the same for the header. So we can go back here in our theme editor and for the template parts header we can select the complete row and again we will change it to percentage and then make it 80 percent let's update this so if we refresh it again now this one looks much better so let's continue with our hero section so here for this second column we will add a form let's add this and if we select our section again, we will add a background color to this. Let's select white. And if we scroll down, we have padding. So we will add a uniform 20 pixel padding here. And for the border radius, we will choose 15 pixel or maybe 10 pixel would be good enough. And for this form now, we can go ahead and do all the editings here, but we are not going to cover that how to use form. We will go directly in the styling of this submit style. And for the text color, we are going to use white. For the background, we are going to use our this light blue. Let's select this row layout again and align vertically to middle. Let's update this again. And maybe we can reduce the width to maybe 40% and let's make it bold and increase the font size to maybe 80 and increase the line height as well. So you can play around with this as per your need. So now we have our header and our hero section ready. All right. So now after this row layout, we click on insert after we will add another row layout and again we will choose two column and let's add image on the left let's upload this so this will be the image 
On the right hand side, let's add advanced text again. Let's paste our text and let's duplicate this one and change this to paragraph and let's paste our content and after this we are going to add our button so we will choose advanced button again we will call it no more and for the button settings we will choose text color as white and the background color as blue for the border we will choose width 0 all right, let's update this and see how it looks in the front end. So this one looks huge. So let's come back in our row layout. And again, we will change the content percentage to 80%. Let's update this. And this looks much better. All right, so after this, we are going to add a new row layout. And first we will choose a single row and we will vertically align this to middle and choose the inner content to 80% again. And once that is done, we will again select a row layout inside it and choose two column layout. And for the left hand side, we will add advanced text and on the right hand side, we will add Let's copy this button from here and paste it on the right hand side. Let's align this to center. And after this heading, we will duplicate this, change this to paragraph and let's paste our sample content. All right. So let's select this row layout again, the inner one and for the background settings let's give this color for this text we will change this to white same goes for the smaller one let's make it white and for this inner row we will align this vertically to middle so let's update this here and see how it looks in the front end so this one looks good Let's give some border here and some padding. So for this inner layout, we will choose padding. So we will add 20 from the left, 20 from the right. And for the border settings, we will change the radius to 20 pixel. Maybe we can change this to 70 and 30. So now this one look much better. All right, so after this, we will select the main row layout and we need to add after this. So we will select insert after. Let's add one more row layout. This time, first we will choose a single column. Let's add our advanced heading. Let's paste our text, align this to center. After this, let's paste our sample content, align this to center. And for our row layout, we forgot to assign widths of content as 80%. All right. So once that is done, let's go ahead and add a row layout. Let's divide that into three columns. And for the first one, we will choose info box from the cadence blocks. And for the title, maybe we can write dental implant and if we look at the settings here we can give it a url but in this case we will leave it blank container settings we will choose border maybe 10 pixel container background we can add a very light shade of blue and under media settings we will choose image instead of icon and then select an image maybe this one and the size of the image will be 50 pixel or maybe 40 would be good. After this, we have the title settings. Font size, I think 35 or 30 will be good enough. Let's reduce the line height a bit. And for the text settings below this, we will change this to 14 pixel and we will reduce this line height as well. All right, let's update this. All right, let's select this entire info box 
Let's copy this and paste it in the rest of the two. So here we have pasted the same info box in the rest of the two columns. All right, so now we have these three services or procedures added here. So let's update this and see how it looks in the front end. So now we have our procedures or services section added here. All right, so after this, let's close all this row layout. So this is our last row and we will select another row layout after this. First, we will choose a single column. We will add advanced text and maybe we can duplicate this itself. So this one will act as our testimonials. So let's add some padding as well. And maybe we can do the same for this one as well. So after this, we are going to add another row and divide that into two columns. On the left hand side, first we will add image. Let's upload one. So this is the image that we can use for our testimonial. Let's give it rounded corners and image size will be 25% center aligned. And after this image, we will add some sample text and maybe we can give a name. So let's turn this to bold, align this to center and same for this one. And after the name, let's add icon. So we will use the normal Gutenberg blocks icon here. And let's search for star. And size, we will choose 30 pixel. Or maybe 20 pixel would be good enough. And for the icon color, we will choose yellow as in star ratings. We can increase the star rating instead of one. We can give it maybe five and for this entire row we will choose vertical align as middle so we can copy this image from here and paste it here again same goes with the text all right so let's update this image and let's reduce the size again maybe we can group all of these elements before this image, let's add a group. Now we can drop all these elements under this group. So this is something good after the update of 5.9. So now we have created this group. Let's duplicate this right away. And all we need to do is just replace this image from the library. All right, let's select this image, resize it again. Okay, so let's update this and see how it looks in the front end. All right, so we have the testimonial here, but we forgot to add the 80% width. So let's come back here in our happy client row. Let's select the percentage and change it to 80%. Let's update this and refresh the front end. And now this looks aligned. All right, so let's close this row layout, add a new one after this. So this time we are going to choose single column, start with advanced text and let's align in center. And before we forgot, let's come back to our row layout, align this vertically as middle and content width will be 80%. And let's add some sample text below this, align this to center. And let's copy our button from here and paste below this. So maybe we can change the text here. So now our button is ready. After this button, we will add a Google map location. So we will search for Google maps. Let's add it here. We will leave it as it is. You can give your location name here. So that will be updated in the maps. So for the button, we will. We have the container margin option here. We can give a bottom 30 pixel margin. Let's update this. And now our 
button and map looks much better. So now our home page is complete. We have a custom header. We have this hero section with a contact form. We have this introduction section. We have a call to action. We have call to action area here. Below that we have services or procedures and we have testimonials here. And then we have a contact or get appointment section. And below that we have our footer. Now let's open this in a mobile view. So this is the header from the full site editor. If we click here, this is how our navigation will look like. After that, we have hero section and our font size of this heading looks too big. So we can update this from here. Let's go back and edit this right away. So we select this row layout. We go to mobile view. We select our heading here. And for the font size, we will change this to 30 pixel or maybe 40 and line height will be something like this. Let's update it and let's refresh the front end. And now it looks much better. All rest of the things looks good. So now our home page is complete. If we go inside any of the inner page, we lose everything. So we can now design the inner page template as well. So if we edit this page here and now we cannot choose custom home page because because that template do not have the page title so we need to create a new one for inner pages let's click on new so we can name it custom inner page template let's click on create and now we can add all the elements that we need so let's get rid all of this and before this about us group we will add our header And after this content group, we will add our footer. All right, let's update this and let's open the page. So now we have our about us page here. So maybe we can add some sample content here. Let's update this and see how it looks in the front end. So this is how the inner pages will look. We have our header as it is. We have our footer and in between we have our content. So this is how our home page looks like. And this is how our inner page will look. Now here comes the best part about this full site editing. If you copy our URL and let's paste our URL in Google page speed insight and do the same for GD metrics as well. Let's test our website. So this is the Google page insight for desktop that is 95 and this is for the mobile. But we have done nothing yet to optimize this website and this is the result. And same for the GT metrics, we got a grade and loading time is 1.4 seconds. But again, this is just straight away out of the box without any optimization. So this is how we can use full site editor and create our complete WordPress website by just using the Gutenberg blocks. And of course, we can take help from plugins like Cadence blocks and the ultimate add-ons. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions about full site editing and WordPress in general, then make sure you leave that in the comment section below. So that's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.